Hi friends, welcome to Nessa's Nook. So today I am going to make a dinner. I know I've made the the chicken, um, cornflake chicken before, but my brother-in-law is here and he has not ever ate it before and he wants some. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to make that. And I didn't feel like having mashed potatoes and I'm out of real potatoes and I'm not feeling instant potatoes today. So my husband says, we'll just make some rice. And I'm like, well, I don't buy any instant rice. I don't buy any rice aroni because I just, I just don't. I mean, I used to, I used to like it. Um, there's just too many chemicals. I just, I'm not a fan. So, um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be making some rice pilaf. Now, obviously it's a little bit different than like the rice aroni. I mean, you're still going to brown your rice and stuff like that. And I usually have like these little like spaghetti looking things and I just cannot find it for the life of me. So I'm going to have to use some of my angel hair pasta, which is going to work. So I always make my rice actually physically in my Instapot. I don't know if you can see physically in there now. And what you do is you're going to be taking a little handful. Now these are one, those ones that's already broke already in half. And you're just going to break them in to a little bit smaller pieces. Just, just I mean, not a lot, but a few of them. I have a little bit of butter in there. And I have... Um, I might be putting a little bit of olive oil in there too. Just get a little bit more pasta here. Yeah, he saw my video on the cornflake chicken. He said he needed to have some, so because I'm a nice sister-in-law, I will. So I'll go ahead and pour in some olive oil. And I'm going to go ahead and pour in one cup of jasmine rice. All right. And what you're going to just do is you're just going to go ahead and stir this and keep stirring this and keep stirring this until this is actually brown, like the pasta is. And that's going to take, seriously, a good probably 10 minutes or so. So even though this rice doesn't take that long to cook, it doesn't mean that the dinner is going to be done a little bit faster. So I'm going to go ahead and let this go ahead and start cooking and I'll get this other stuff around. All right, Mark's out here helping me in the kitchen. But I'm going to go ahead and steam some broccoli. So I have like that broccoli steamer thing that I usually use in my smaller pans. But the both of us are here, or all four of us are here, so that's not going to be enough broccoli for the four of us. So I'm going to go ahead and use my bigger pan and do up a double batch of broccoli. What's left, I can always add the different things. And I'll go ahead and get this started now because this is still going to take a good 10 minutes or so. I'm going to go ahead and get that on the stove over here and I'll be right back. All right, the, uh, the rice is almost done. I'm going to go ahead and throw a little bit of garlic in there and get that a little bit cooked. And I need to find my, my turmeric. So, um, then I'm just going to put just a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper in here. It should be a little bit bigger container, I think. Pepper. Yep. And then it calls for some parsley. So I have some dried parsley here. Sorry about that. I couldn't find the turmeric anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and just put just a little bit of turmeric in here, and that's going to help um, make that rice a yellow color. I try to wipe it on my clothes, and I would have ruined my <laughs> I would have ruined my clothes there. So this is all nice and brown. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is throw in the two cups of broth. It 
give that a little bit of a stir because that has a tendency to have stuff suck to the bottom. And the steam burns you. <laughs> And give that a nice little stir. All right. Go ahead and shut off the um, saute. And I'm going to go ahead. I do not use the rice feature on this. I'm going to go ahead and use the um, pressure cook for three minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and let this actually naturally release. So I'll move you over to the island now. All right, and the last time I made this, someone suggested that I just put this in a Ziploc bag to crush it instead of me using my little balance glass. I think it's going to work perfect, personally. And my husband's out here helping me, which is very, very nice. I always appreciate help. So you're not going to crush that like down like you would um, for, uh, um, I can't think of the name, like bread crumbs. It's not going to be like a bread crumb thing. So what we're going to do is take the chicken and put it in the butter. And my husband's going to help me. Um, he's going to shake this up and stuff. Get it? Yep. And then he's going to stick it over there on the XL tray. And we will air fry this. That needs a little more than that when we get that. That doesn't seem to want to stick to it. Well, you just have to probably put it on when we yeah. and you guys think it's me that's just messy in the kitchen hmm she made me do it <laughs> I'm hoping we can get all these. These were actually just like three really large breasts. And what we did is we actually just cut this, cut them, you know, slice them in half. We'll just have to probably take whatever's left and actually. Yeah, yeah it's like it doesn't want to stick to it. You know, we'll have to just like, you know what I'm saying, like. Yeah, I know what you're saying. And we'll put some oil on the top of it to help it stick on there, so. And this is actually, I forgot to say, this is actually one stick of butter. That's actually melted. Wow, you wouldn't want any more chicken in there. Yeah, that's what I said, it's gonna to be tight. And then when we're done, I'm just going to pour the drizzle the rest of that um, physically over the chicken. We're going to have to wash our hands real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, friends, we got that kind of cleaned up. So what I'm just going to do is to help this, um, brown. no, the stick on the top and browned, obviously, is I'm going to go ahead and spray this with some olive oil here. And anybody who has watched my videos, I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to be putting that over there in the, in the Ninja XL. But anybody who's watched my videos knows that I do not cook the temperature or the meat like uh, Ninja says to cook it at whatever temperature. I'll be cooking this like at 340 
for a good 20 minutes probably we'll check it with the temperature probe and uh, we'll see how that's working and meanwhile the rice just came up to temp and um, the broccoli is steaming so we'll be right back I also forgot because it threw me off because my husband was in here helping me that um, I did put some salt pepper garlic powder onion powder and paprika on the top of the um, cornflakes so that way it does have some flavoring so you don't think that it didn't have any flavoring at all which I just can't even believe I forgot but it does have it now when it's cooking so okay the rice just got done the the pin just went down and always and always and always when you use a pressure cooker even a um, pan always open the lid away from you because the last thing you want to do is get burnt off uh, steam. So I don't know for sure. Yeah, you can see that in here. So you're just going to go ahead and fluff this up and get this all nice and mixed up. That steam is super hot. that rice that looks quite amazing honestly there you guys everything is all done there I was just talking and obviously this wasn't even filming I just grabbed the smallest piece and this is actually homemade rice pilaf broccoli steamed broccoli and uh, cornflake chicken so my question is to you guys have you ever um, made your own fake uh, rice aroni or any type of rice that you you know didn't have to buy from the store like that Let me know it in the comments down below uh, Let me know if you've ever done the cornflake chicken and thank you very much for stopping by you have a very blessed and wonderful day